everyone welcome to Intel skills this is our third tutorial of this java course that is comments yes we are going to discuss about comments in this tutorial and in the last we are having a small q a session which will contain only mcqs related to this topic this q a session is also present in each and every tutorial that we have posted before and we are going to post after if you haven't watched the previous video please do watch it and then continue with this video and yes i'm very excited to start this session so without any further delay let's get started we are going to learn about java comments what do you see here you see that i have printed shinjini here right and it's also visible in the console something is written in the fifth line over here it is called a comment comments can be used to explain java code it makes it more readable this will uh, make the code look more neat and it will be understood by the reader suppose you open some code after 2 to 3 months and you forgot everything so these can be a label to your code and it does not display when you run the code now we are going to look after types of comments there are two types of comments single line comments and multi line comments what are single line comments single line comments start with two forward slashes here it's a single line comment and what are multi line comments now multi line comments are like these um it starts with a forward slash then with an asterisk and it ends with asterisk and after that a forward slash suppose you need to write some sentences at that time you can't use a single line comment you're forced to use a multi line comment the first question is which of the following is the correct syntax for a single line comment in java please to observe the answer by pausing the video the correct option is option number c the first one is a xml comment this comment is used in xml the in the second one it is a multi line comment that we see, that we had seen in java itself in this video and in option number d it is a comment of properties and in option number c it was a single line comment that we had seen in this video itself let's move to the next question what is the purpose of java documents in java now see we are learning core java in this course that is the course for beginners uh, java documents it is a third type comment in java we have learned only two types but there is another type java documents is not pretty much necessary as of now for the beginners but i'll surely make a video on java documents anytime soon uh, please to observe the options over here by pausing the video the correct option is option number a to generate documentation for the code java doc comments is used to generate the documentation for your code let's move to the next question which of the following is the correct syntax for a multi line comment in java we had already done this in a video please pause the video and observe the options the correct option is option number c let's move to the next question what is the purpose of comments in java please observe the options and pause the video the correct option is to provide context and explanation for the code so i hope java comments are pretty much clear to you let's meet you in the next tutorial with java variables